We covered all the essential functions to work with numbers, strings, and datetime values. In this lecture, we're going to look at a couple more useful functions in MySQL. So let's go to our SQL store database and select all the orders. As you can see, some of these orders don't have a shipper. So their shipper ID is null. Let's say for these orders, instead of displaying null to the user, we want to display the label not assigned. So I'm going to simplify this query by picking only two columns, order ID and shipper ID. Now here we can call the if null function to substitute null values for shipper ID with something else. In this case, not assigned. So as a second argument, we pass a string. If shipper ID is null, then this function is going to return not assigned. Now let's give it an alias like shipper and execute the query. There you go. So these orders don't have a shipper. In contrast, these other orders do have a shipper. So we see their shipper ID. Now we also have another similar function that is more flexible, and that is the coalesce function. Let's say if shipper ID is null, we want to return the value in the comments column. And if comments is also null, then we want to return not assigned. So we call the coalesce function. And here we supply a list of values. First, we want to return the value in the shipper ID column. If this is null, we want to return the value in the comments column. If this is null too, then we want to return not assigned. So let's execute this query. In this example, if you look at order number eight, instead of not assigned, we see the value in the comments column. So here's the difference. With the if null function, we can substitute a null value with something else. With coalesce function, we supply a list of values, and this function will return the first non-null value in the list. All right, here's your exercise for this tutorial. In the same database, write a query to produce this result. Here we have two columns, customer and phone. In the customer column, we display the customer's full name. And in the phone column, we display their phone number. And if we don't have their phone number, we display unknown. Pretty easy, you can knock it out in a minute. All right, first we're gonna select customer's full name. So this is where we use the concat function. We get the first name, then we add a space, and next we add the last name. Let's rename this to customer. Now we should display the phone. But if we don't have the phone, we wanna display unknown. So we call the if null function, and here we can substitute phone with unknown. We could also use coalesce. They're both valid solutions. And finally, from the customer's table, actually, we need to assign an alias here as well, phone. Let's execute the query. There you go. This customer doesn't have a phone, so we see the word unknown. 